I'm Barbara Beithel. I'm a librarian here at MATC. Back for more on legal research in action. Hi, I'm Lori Kornblum. I'm an attorney and an instructor here at MATC in the paralegal department, and we are continuing our legal research in action series. We are going to look today at Wisconsin statutes. Where are we now? Okay, we're back in the Wisconsin section of the legal research room. Uh, we're looking now at the Wisconsin statutes to look at enacted law. Okay, now these say Wisconsin statutes, then they're annotated. What does it mean that they're annotated? An annotated annotation means that um, it's the actual statutes, but then there's further notes on subsequent action and case law. This is the index uh, to the Wisconsin statutes. And should we look up something about child custody again? Okay, so should we look under the C? Yeah, let's, let's look under C because we learned in our uh, exploration of the cases that Wes lists a lot of things under child custody. So let's just skip those exploratory steps. Okay, so we're looking at under child and child custody in the index. Okay. A specific topic? Well, let's look up uh, visitation and let's see if there's any statutes that talk about visitation of a non custodial parent. So Barb, it looks like you found something about uh, visitation, uh, and it would be under 822.34. What does that number mean? That's the statute number. We look in the main volumes under the statute number. Barb, these statutes are arranged in numerical order, is that correct? Yes, by statute number, and in this volume it will contain statute 822, we're looking for 822.34. Yeah. So when we look at that, what we have found is there is a statute, 822.34, but this is really not the right statute because it is in the civil procedure sections of the statutes and it is about visitation, but it's really about enforcing foreign visitation orders. So let's look again. Barb, this is just another instance of when you're looking in indices and you really have to think the way the people who index the statutes think. And sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. But now we're looking under visitation and we found one that might be okay, which is on a trial of child visitation. But you have found a topic looking under children and minors mm -hmm. and you have actually found a whole topic about visitation and we see that it's actually covered under the statute 767.401 at sec. At sec means and following in Latin. So we are going to uh, look under the 767 statutes. Here it does help to know a little bit about statutes because we know that the 767 statutes are about family law whereas the 48, chapter 48, deals with children's law. Back at the statutes, and Barb, what you looking for? Uh, 767.401. So Barb, looks like you hit the jackpot. There's a whole subchapter on child custody placement and visitation. There is a statute about educational programs and classes. Uh, there is a, we can look at other statutes, but what we can also do is look and see if there is an index. Sometimes when you can't find exactly what you want, you go back to the beginning of the chapter and you see chapter 767 is about actions affecting the family. And then you can look at the different subsections uh, and here's general application. See that there is a whole subchapter on child custody placement and visitation. So we can look through here and we can see uh, some of the statutes have been renumbered but we want to look at uh, the different physical placement orders, etc. And what we do is let's look at visitation rights of certain persons under 767.43. This is a statute that talks about the visitation of different people, including grandparents, um, homicide convictions, wishes of a child, etc. After the statute, there are notes of decisions. And for example, if we wanted to look at whether aunts and uncles have the right to visit, we would look under aunts and uncles which is uh, number 15, uh, we can look at parental decision-making, etc. Going to key number 15, we have all kinds of cases that discuss aunts and uncles, and if we found a case that interpreted the statute, we could then go to find that case and, and read about it, just as we did under the Wisconsin case 
uh, citations. Another one that discusses removal from the state and whether there is um, an ability to remove a child from a state, that's under number 17. So again, we always have to look in the pocket parts to see if there's been anything subsequent. Uh, 767.3. So Barb is now looking up the same statute in the pocket part to see if there's any updates, any new cases, if the statute has changed. And it looks like there are some decisions. There's some commentaries and law review articles. And that's mostly about grandparent visitation, but nothing specifically about aunts and uncles. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our discussion of looking up statutes. Okay, we'll see you next time.